A split ortholinear mechanical keyboard. Zen is notable in that it's the world's thinnest mechanical keyboard, measuring just 8 millimeters thin. Zen uses a three-layer dual circuit board design. The bottom PCB housing the surface mount RGB LEDs, the middle PCB housing diodes, switches, TRRS jack, and a microcontroller, and the top PCB, which is a switch plate. To complete a Zen kit, you will need surface mount diodes, surface mount RGB LEDs, capacitors, headers, a pro micro, stabilizers, transparent or recommended, and switches. For this build, I'll be using 65 gram Zelio switches. We'll start with the middle PCB for Zen. Unlike most DIY mechanical keyboards, Zen does not use through-hole diodes. Instead, it uses surface mount diodes. There is, of course, a diode for each switch. Like all diodes, these have a polarity. Zen's circuit board has a small line indicating which direction is down. As you can see, the diode also has a line indicating the matching polarity. You may need to look very closely as SMD diodes are very small. I'm going to start by placing the PCB in my handy dandy circuit board holder. It's useful for keeping PCBs in place, but allowing you to easily move them around. First, I'm going to add solder bubbles to each SMD diode pad. The diodes will solder to these pads. I'm going to solder all the bubbles first, then add the diodes afterwards. Now it's time for the first diode. SMD soldering requires precision, so be careful. First, position the diode, holding it with your tweezers, then apply heat to the solder bubble until the diode leg melts into it. Then rotate the circuit board and solder down the other part of the diode. The next step is to install the Pro Microcontroller and the TRRS jack. On the left hand Zen, the Pro Micro is installed with the components facing up. On the right hand of Zen, like uh, this one here, the Pro Micro is installed with the components facing down. This is very important. To start on installing this, I'm first going to flip the PCB over and I'll put the header pins in upside down. I'm doing this so that once the Pro Micro is installed, I'll cut away the excess on the top, then remove the excess below here. When this is complete, the Pro Micro will sit flush against the board. Now I'm going to tape down the Pro Micro with some Kapton tape to keep it in place while soldering. Kapton tape is ESD safe and heat resistant. I'm going to solder down the first four corners here, then remove the tape and solder down the rest of the Pro Micro. Next up, to finish off the middle PCB, I'll get the TRRS jack installed. The TRRS jack is pressed into place, then its four pins are soldered.
The bottom PCB is much like the middle PCB. We'll get started on this by adding solder bubbles to each of the pads. Each of these sets of four is for an RGB LED. We'll also get solder bubbles on the capacitor pads too. Now that the solder bubbles have been put down, it's time for the RGB LEDs to get installed. The RGBs are similar to the diodes in that they are directional. An icon on the PCB will match up with the shape of the LED itself. To solder these in place, I hold the LED down with tweezers, then heat the solder bubbles on one side, moving quickly between the two while pressing down on the LED. The capacitors are not directional so they can be soldered down on their pads in any orientation. Now that the prep work on the bottom and middle PCBs is complete, we can start prepping to mate the two PCBs. On both of these PCBs, there are 14 sets of through holes. A three pin header is installed in each of these sets. These are used to mate the bottom and middle PCB together. The headers will be soldered to the middle plate first, but we'll start by putting the headers on the bottom PCB so that they'll line up correctly with the middle. I'll line these up, then solder the headers to the middle. Next, the plastic flashing will be removed so that there is as little space between the middle and bottom PCBs as possible. Now that the headers are soldered in on the middle PCB, it's time to prep the stabilizers. For this build, I'll be using clear stabilizers from 1upkeyboards.com. I'll be lubing them with Finish Line Extreme Fluoro, and I'll be performing the Band-Aid mod. I'll do the Band-Aid mod first. The Band-Aid mod helps to quiet stabilizers when they clack against the PCB while typing. I'll be adding lube here, 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 and there. These are the points where metal meets the plastic. So with that, it's time to install switches. For this build, I'll be using 65 gram Zelio switches. Then the switches are soldered into place. We've now got the middle PCB completed with all of its components installed. The bottom PCB is ready to go. Time to mate these two together. I'm going to solder these three pins first. These are for 5 volt, data, and ground. So I'll solder this in and then test it to verify that it works before I proceed any further. And you can see the RGBs are in place and working. Perfect! Time to get the rest of these headers soldered. Next, I'll get some rubber feet installed. I've got some generic rubber bumpers here. Now, you can leave the bottom of the board just bare, but it'll tend to move around and scratch up whatever surface it's on. 
Now you can see there's not a lot protruding from the... Oops, got some bits sticking out. Now you can see there's not a lot protruding from the bottom of the board, so just some thin feet will do. All right, and we've got all our feet. With assembly complete, it's time to install some keycaps. For this build, I'm using Signature Plastics SA Profile Modern Selectric. Zen turned out beautifully. Zen's split ortholinear layout and thin profile, even with these high profile keycaps, make it fantastic and extremely productive to type on. Zen is, I feel, the truest successor to Ergodox. It moves the community and the split ergonomic keyboard world forward. Now Zen surely won't be my last split keyboard, but it's my favorite one right now. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about Zen. If you enjoyed this video, please like and also subscribe to my channel.